From the vantage point of the human, let's provide directions to the following landmarks. For landmark A, you can use north. For B, you can use west. But what about C? Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Intermediate Directions. The cardinal directions are found on maps and compasses and can be found on a compass rose. Here is one example of a compass rose. But what are the directions found on a compass rose? An easy way to remember this is to use never eat soggy waffles for north, east, south, west. So let's take a look at the directions again. Let's move a sphere out of the maze. We're going to begin by going west, then south, then west, then south, then east and south again to get out. However, in order to be more accurate, you can add directions in between the four main directions called intermediate directions. Between north and east, you can add northeast. Between east and south, you can add southeast. Between south and west, add southwest. And finally, between west and north, add northwest. These are the intermediate measurements. Primary directions fall these degrees on a compass. North is zero, which equals 360 degrees. East is 90 degrees. South is 180, and west is 270. The intermediate directions fall at these degrees on the compass. Northeast, 45 degrees. Southeast, 135 degrees. Southwest, 225 degrees, and northwest, 315. So let's get back to our original question. From the viewpoint of the human, C would be found at southeast. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.